right, guys, I have a little Tarte unboxing for you. I just participated in their 4 for 35 sale. I can link the video down below if I remember. Um, I really like Tarte products. They had another sale going on because I did sign up for like the email alerts when I found out about the 4 for 35. I mentioned that in that sale because by the time I found out about the sale, it was like the last few hours of the sale and it was like limited what I could get, but I still scored some really good stuff you guys want to see. So I did sign up to decide to sign up for the email so they can notify me about other sales and I caught this one and the box is super cute it even says beauty that works and beauty that's good for you and it even has I just don't want to show my dress it even has that cute little tart sticker in the lips so let's do a little box so you guys can see what I got this is super cute almost like a variety of a subscription box because they even make the box really cute and it says join team tart for exclusive rewards birthday gifts private sales and more tart break down beauty brown juice rethink natural and always be kind and it's even all like little palm trees inside like that is super cute if you're giving this as a gift you, literally if you just rip off the address and gift wrap it that is super cute and then it even has their own little like tart tissue paper so this sale in particular okay let me just start this with the sales in september have been amazing if you guys have seen any of my videos i mentioned that i have like 90 percent of my christmas shopping done and even sales in october it's only the third today and the sales that tar especially target they're having like 14 days of beauty right now Ulta had their 21 days of beauty i also have a halt to haul up if you guys are interested um and target is doing like not just beauty deals they're also doing like crazy clothing deals prime day is coming up I, for amazon i think it's like the 13th or the 14th i know me i have discover every year between october 1st and december 31st you get five percent cash back at target walmart amazon which is awesome because that's where a lot of my christmas shopping gets done so i was amazed like i said i've already been getting tons of christmas gifts um and just the deals that have been going on so you guys definitely keep your eye out you don't even need to wait for black friday this year i don't even think there is going to be a black friday maybe that's why these stores are already doing these deals um it's definitely worth keeping your eye out right now for for yourself for christmas whatever so tart was doing half off concealers this day and i absolutely love the shape tape so i decided to stock up and grab another one but then you have to spend, I think it was 40 for free shipping. And I said, you know what? Maybe I should try their foundation. Because I was like, I really love their shape tape. Maybe I'll like the shape tape foundation. I will say, yesterday, the foundation was on sale. So it kind of bummed me because I think I paid... There's no invoice in here. They don't do that anymore, I swear. Um, maybe I'll include the prices at the bottom of the screen or down in the description box. But I want to say it was $39 and yesterday they were $25. Tarte has been doing a different sale almost every day. I don't know how long it's going to last for. It's not like 14 days of beauty or 21 days of beauty. I know the first day was half off concealers. The second day was half off palettes. And then all of a sudden it was half off foundation. But it is what it is. Not a big deal. I'm not going to cry over it so i grabbed their shape tape and tart is a cruelty free brand so and it's something i know i already enjoy you guys know i don't do a lot of duplicates um i always like to try something new especially because i get it in subscription boxes and stuff like that so if i repurchase something it's because i really really liked it um and it says double duty beauty and honestly even the first one i think i bought on sale as well because i would never pay 20 something dollars i'm just cheap um so this is the original one that i have and I think, I don't think it was through Tarte because I did not sign up for the emails. I just signed up for them recently. Um, the, that 4 for 35 was the first order I've ever done from Tarte itself. I think Ulta was having it on sale and I had heard such good things. I grabbed it. So when I saw it was on sale again, because I know they don't do it that often, I said, you know what? I'll have another one. It's the same color for me, which is 12N Fair Neutral. And it says it's made in Korea. Okay. Interesting fact. I know people like that, so I like to say it. And it says it's good for six months. So this one... I just realized I've had for about a year now. Um, I will have to see because, like I said, I got it right before Christmas and it's October right now. Um, I will notice some things definitely go past the date. I'm just curious. And uh, some things definitely don't. Uh, like foundation, I find, like, it's so spotty and disgusting after the date. So if this still seems fine to me, I will still use it. And then if not, whatever, I already have another one ready to go. And I didn't pay full price because they're like, like I said, 20 something dollars. And I think with the half off sale, I paid 12. Um, obviously, I know this is a lot lighter than my skin, but I only put concealer under my eyes and like on my trouble spots. And especially under my eyes, I want the lightness. I want it to brighten up under my eyes. And obviously, I don't usually use my hand. I just want to see how it looks considering it's been past the six month mark 
And then obviously I have foundation under this and everything. And I use my beauty sponges and brushes. But let's see, I'm curious. That's why I don't do makeup videos. Yeah, see, to me, it blended out fine and it looks fine. I mean, granted, I know it's... Now I have one half lighter than the other. And this isn't even like over primer, over foundation. So you know what? That one, I would find that definitely goes past their six month suggestion but anyway so i grabbed that so now i figured i would have the foundation i have been using milani which is like a higher end like drugstore brand and this thing was super cheap conceal and perfect two -on one oh this one's foundation and concealer so technically i don't even need the concealer and i've been using it anyway and it's medium to full coverage lightweight oil free formula long wearing water resistant and sweat proof um this one is 12 months so I'm probably getting close to that because I think I got around the same time as the concealer. But I really like it. Um, so I figured I would just grab one to have as a backup because that one will be running out soon. Or if it ends up being bad when I try it, who knows? Because like I said, I foundation, the one thing I do find doesn't go past the date. So it says created for you, by you. Check all that apply. It says full coverage, yes. Flawless natural matte finish, yes. Infinite likes. <laughs> and... Um, like I already said, it's cruelty for your vegan. And it's that same cute design as the concealer. Tarte Double Beauty, same thing. And this one lasts six months as well. So I guess this stuff just doesn't last as long because it's more natural. And it is the cute little pump. So let's, uh, did I get it in the same color? Yeah, 12 and fair neutral. Oh, I wasn't thinking, why did I do that? Because the concealer, I always get lighter. The foundation, I don't. But you know what? When I blend it out, I'll make it work. And honestly, I'm going to be a little whiter soon because, uh, winter's coming and my tan's already like starting to fade so i just put some on i'm just gonna kind of rub it out i'm not really good with matching to be honest with you guys if you guys have a suggestion for me please let me know but because you can definitely see the difference but i mean as long as i blend it out and into my neck it won't be bad and like i said i am losing my tan i am getting lighter for the winter oh that actually blended pretty good so i figured it couldn't hurt to get a um shape tape foundation so i grabbed that to make the kind of the free shipping and get it to my house and it also included like a free little sample it told me i could pick the one i wanted so this one is a um foundation as well but it's their c their new line which is their c line because it's made with like sea kelp and stuff and i actually do have something from their line um it is oh I, okay it's the concealer i got it in the four for 35 sale so i thought i would try the foundation see if i liked and then if i did i'd have a cute little matching uh concealer and foundation going on i forgot i even got this in the four for 35 so now i have another backup concealer so i will definitely keep these clothes until i use them because that whole like six month rule thing and the reason i chose this i can't i'm not seeming to find it right now but i know my first ipsy box i got this c mascara so i figured i would have a whole cute like little set i really do like tart so i figured i would try um the foundation and oh it comes with a little bit of each one Thought i had picked like light medium but if you look right here it says fair fair neutral um fair light neutral light neutral and light medium sand so maybe this will help me with my matching process so i can try them out and now a free gift i didn't even know about it says happy birthday tarlet because you're in our pretty posse tart reward so i guess because i signed up for um the tart rewards it, and my birthday did just pass. It actually passed after I signed up. So I guess they decided to send it to me anyway, which is really nice. Because I signed up in September and my birthday is the end of August. So let's see what it is. Makes, oh, this is so exciting. Like it was something I wasn't expecting. No, I'm lying. I'm lying to you. I didn't pay for this, but it did say I would get like a free gift if I spent. That's why too it was worth. Because at first I was like, oh, should I just buy, spend the five... I think shipping was like seven dollars and i was like oh should i just spend the seven dollars in shipping and then i was then i saw like a free gift thing so i was like oh you know what i'm gonna get it so i guess if i had put that if i had signed up before my birthday this is probably what i would have got so i got it either way so it worked out 
and uh, so I figured yeah I'll get the foundation so I can get the free gift so it looks like it's a blush and mascara so let's see yep it's an Amazonian clay 12 hour blush and it says it's made in China I have a blush from them that I got in the fall for 35 sale um and it is um it's a cl uh it's like a more pink color so this one is more on the orangey side so i have two different blushes to choose from now this one is called quirky it did have a little plastic thing that fell out so don't think it didn't come with it i'm just why well, pick it up i don't need it i'll pick it up after um but i do think this is smaller i, I want to see if i can find yeah here it is just so you guys can see the difference so this is the one i got in the four for 35 sale so yes there is a definitely a difference this says it's 0.20 ounces 0.20 ounces and this one says it's 0.05 ounces and if you're curious about grams this one says 1.5 and this one says 5.6 um these last about 12 months and this one is in quirky and this one is in party so i remember when i showed this yeah because it even has the tart popping up in gold and I remember saying how the blush was the same color as the packaging. The plastic thing just fell out of that one too. And it has a little mirror. And I was wondering if they do that for all of them. This one's called Party with like three A's. And they do do that. So this one is the Quirky, which is more on the orange tone. And it says Tarte Rewards on it. And it is the same color as the blush. So that's really cute that the packaging matches the color. So I know exactly if I want like a more orangey blush or if I want a more pink blush, I know exactly which one to grab for. So that is super cute. And now let's check out the mascara. Four in one mascara. Do I want to open this? I have so many mascaras right now. Eh, whatever. It's open six months i guess that's their thing except blush is 12. so this one is like a littler version i really like that to put in my makeup bag to go so and the packaging is really really cute so i'm super excited um i think even though the foundation was a different price the following day um it was still worth getting i mean i would have paid shipping individually each time i mean that all adds up and then this time i also got the free gift on top of it so you guys if you like tart definitely consider uh signing up for the rewards program like i said you get birthday gifts so i got it it wasn't as a birthday gift it was because i spent a certain amount but this is what you would have got for your birthday i don't know how often they change it up or if you would have got the same thing but um and it even says over here exclusive rewards private sales and more and then you just get notifications when they're sales which is really worth it and it seems like they're doing one almost every day i'm curious to see if there is one today i really had to stop myself from the palette one but i have so many palettes right now so i went mm, let's not do that um happy birthday tartlet I thought i said palette for a second so i'm like oh is it a palette <laughs> but that is basically it for my tart haul uh tart unboxing whatever you want to call it so like I said, if you want to keep an eye out for yourself or you want to do it for Christmas presents, it's definitely worth looking right now. They are having amazing deals. Like I said, Prime Day is coming up. Target's been having 14 Days of Beauty. I know Ulta's 21 Day of Beauty is over. Tarte seems to be having a lot of sales. Just definitely keep an eye out. Um, I follow a lot of um, plus size bloggers on tar on Instagram. And one has been saying how J. Crew is having tons of sales right now and like mod cloth. And I don't know if they just want, you know, people to spend their money because businesses took a hit and a lot of places were closed and, you know, people weren't making as much and things definitely aren't normal. But I feel like they're getting more towards being normal, I guess. I don't know. So. I mean, because we might be getting a second stimulus check, so they're putting out all these sales, or they just know Christmas is coming and got early Christmas shoppers. I don't know, but definitely keep an eye out. Um, for, like I said, if you have an idea for a gift for somebody else or something for yourself, a specific brand you like, if you would like Tarte or Target or Old Navy, um, I've even gotten some stuff through Macy's. So that is it. Um, if you guys want like maybe a Christmas gift idea video thing or like definitely follow me on Instagram. I always link it down below. I posted when Old Navy was having their sale and stuff like that. Um, definitely check it out. They do like a different deal of the day like all the time. You can definitely, um, it's an easy way to buy Christmas gifts on sale and not all at once and it helps spread out your money a little bit. But um, 
that is basically it so um i'm going to be having some unboxings i have my claws box coming in and bombay and cedar and um i can't wait for the next ipsy to come in i mean uh it's a new month so all my new boxes are coming in and then i have some that are bi-monthly and two of them land at the same every two months so aia was for october and i have a that handmade soap box i really enjoy that open in august is october again as well and um that is basically it i do tons of hauls if you guys like that too i literally just filmed like a family dollar haul um i have a dollar tree haul that's about to go up hauls unboxing that's definitely what i do that's why taylor marie hauls and more but i definitely see myself having a lot of christmas content coming up so i'm decorating with me some organized with me so i'm debating on doing like little room tours of my apartment look at my cute little cat laying down i feel like you guys aren't even looking at me like that's 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 so precious so so cute i think i'm gonna go lay down with her now because this was the last video if you guys watch my channel you know i was posting monday through friday when i was out of work um but now i am back to work i work at a school so i started in september so now it's monday wednesday friday and i kind of pre-film and i film like three to four videos at once so i'm ready for like the week so today is saturday and that is what i'm doing this is my last video and I will be posting them throughout the week. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Definitely like the video. Give it a thumbs up, whatever. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, comment down below. Do you guys love Tar as much as I do? Did you guys know they had sales going on? Did any of you guys participate in any of these particular sales? Whether it was the palette, the concealer, the foundation. I might pop on right now and see what today's sale is out of curiosity. But I'm really trying to limit what I buy. Um, but... I feel it was well worth it. Foundation and concealer, you always need a good base to start off on. Um, you do get a lot of palettes in like makeup subscription boxes and a lot of like more of the fun stuff like mascara and eyelashes and lipsticks. But you don't get a lot of the base products. So being able to buy some primer, I just did that in Nipsey add-on. You guys will see that video. Being able to buy concealers and foundations and be ready to go for the holidays. I'm super excited about that. But that is basically it. Are you any of you guys crazy like me and already have mostly a Christmas shopping done? Comment below. Make me feel more normal. People have been looking at me crazy when I tell them that. And then they look at me in awe and they're like, damn, I should have done that because they like jealous. Um, I literally have some stuff in my Amazon car right now just to finish up a few gifts, little odds and ends but i feel so good i'm ready to get 2020 done and start off on a new year and i'm just excited to really enjoy the holidays this year this is the first year i'm really going to enjoy them um the last nine years so the first eight years of those nine years i worked at a grocery store i've mentioned this path in the past it was a small family business i keep looking at my cat through the camera and i'm just jealous i'm gonna lay with her but i loved them they were such good people and they treated us really well around christmas time we always got a christmas bonus and a christmas party and a christmas gift basket like they went above and beyond what most companies would do they're very old school like that you know most places you get the bonus or the party it's not it's rare you get both or anything at all some companies aren't even doing anything and i got all of it and it was a really good bonus um but it was really tough uh working every single christmas eve every single new year's eve um i felt like i couldn't really enjoy the holiday i would be so tired uh you know it just sucks and like people are mean and you would think because the holidays they'd be more joyous but instead they want to get the hell out and get on with their holiday so they're rude and they're nasty and i literally had a christmas eve i spent crying because i was made fun of twice um i decided to wear a cute headband and try to be festive try to make the best of the situation and i was wearing reindeer antlers and someone said call me a fat rabbit and it was really disgusting and sad but anyway so last year was the first christmas i was really going to enjoy because now i work at a school so i have all the i actually really like it i feel like it blended really well anyway uh <laughs> i felt like i was gonna i'm so random i felt like i was gonna really enjoy it because i had two weeks off for christmas and i was living with roommates at the time and things didn't end up working out and i had to leave in a rush and i got I went back to my parents literally the Monday of the week of Thanksgiving. So I ended up living with my mom again 
and everything was in storage and in boxes and because I knew I was moving again in January so I didn't want to just unpack to pack again so I didn't have a lot of accessibility to the clothes I wanted to wear and to my makeup and to my jewelry so it was another holiday kind of wasted and I was really pissed off because it was like the first one I was really looking forward to and the end of 2019 was really hard and then I had really high hopes of 2020 and you guys all know where that went so um it's been tough you know um i i had some issues during quarantine i was no you know, no secret i shared that there was one 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 of my first dollar tree hauls i even cried a little bit it even says my dollar tree haul got emotional you know i was really looking forward to like my first summer off and all this stuff and i feel like it all got pulled out from under me but i know i'm not the only one and i know it definitely things could definitely be worse um i know families that have suffered a lot bigger losses so I'm just trying to appreciate what I have and I'm just trying to look forward to even the littlest things. I know the holidays aren't going to be the same. I know 2020 Christmas is going to be different from Christmases of the past. But you know what? I'm in my own place with someone I love and I can finally decorate it and enjoy myself and have just accessibility to my items and be able to wear what I want to wear and do my makeup and have energy and have time off and um, just spend. Maybe it'll be even better. Let's try to look at it that way instead of um seeing a bunch of people you don't really care about you keep it to your tight-knit family um but anyway so that went on a tangent but you guys tell me are you really looking forward to christmas or are you really still bummed out about things or you're just trying to live day by day like i am and try to make the best of a small situation right now i'm just really looking forward to laying down with my cat so that's all you can really do um you know like for eight years I worked every single weekend and I was so excited to kind of finally have weekends off and now it's like I have weekends off and I don't even go anywhere but you know what they're still my weekends I'm still spending them the way I want I'm still enjoying them I'm not behind a cash register for eight hours I'm sleeping in i'm making breakfast i'm watching movies with someone i love um you know what i mean so it's still better than it was um it's just uh it's not what i thought to be honest with you i thought oh good i finally have time off i finally have energy i'm gonna go do x y and z i had so many plans for this summer um all these food trucks and the water fire in providence i always wanted to go to every single one especially the big one in october for breast cancer but i never went because they were always on saturday nights and i started at 6 45 in the morning on sundays so it made it hard so i did go to some i pushed myself because i mean you know like life's short and make the best of it but i was finally like having having weekends off and summers off and I was like oh I can finally do this and I don't have to worry because I know I can sleep in or I know I don't have work and I can enjoy myself and honestly none of that happened but like I said way worse things could have happened so just make, getting used to being at home and I'm honestly really loving it I'm turning into a homebody I like being in my pajamas with my kitty cat so that is it guys uh sorry it kind of went off on a tangent there it's just i've been like thinking just a lot lately with everything going on i'm sure you guys have all been feeling these feelings as well if you guys want to talk about it definitely comment below i have no issues with that i actually went to school um in psychology originally i did change majors but i always enjoyed um talking to people getting to know people and um helping people in any way i can my degrees in human services now and i work with kids and I love stuff like that so definitely I'm always um, a good listener and um, an ear that you can talk to if you need to whether it's in comments below or if you want to do something privately and DM me on my Instagram I always always respond to those um, I always appreciate when you guys watch my videos and comment this uh this channel has really made a difference for me that's why i'm still doing it um you know originally i thought okay during quarantine i'll do it when i'm back to work i won't bother unless i see myself really not making money out of it but more like making a difference out of it if i really see it's worth it and honestly it's really not i only have 90 subscribers i've been doing it for six months it's not like i just started um six months that's like half a year that's a good chunk of time and it's not like i'm posting videos willy nilly here and there i am being consistent i was posting monday through friday i have over 100 videos on my channel already um and i don't get a lot of views and i don't get a lot of comments but it's not about that that's why i'm still doing it i just generally enjoy 
filming and showing my hauls. It's something I've always done long before I was filming. I would literally like when I live with my mom, be like, mom, look what I got. And I'd pull everything out and tell the prices. Or even when I moved out, I would FaceTime and mom, look what I got. And I would show my boyfriend oh, every time a package comes in. Oh, you want to see what I got? I don't know what it is. I always like, and it's something I enjoy watching. That's the YouTube channels I watch. I watch Dollar Tree hauls and Target hauls and Walmart hauls, even grocery hauls. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, like what new product did they get? Or what did they pay for that? Or it's always been something that interests me so during quarantine i was like you know what i'm buying things for the house because i just moved in like in january right before everything went down so i was like you know what i might as well film like things i get for the house or even groceries or clothes or and then like now like just boxes because i always had fab fit fun but i decided during quarantine when i um got so you guys don't know i didn't get my unemployment for like eight weeks and then i got it all at once so i like signed up for the yearly um cause box and then i ended up finding just other boxes i loved because i found i can't i kept finding more and more um unboxing videos so now i have ipsy i have bombay cedar i have ice cream beauty i have mind and body box i have the homemade soap box um through instagram i found a lot of small businesses i really wanted to support that is something you know i worked for a small business so that is something i really um want to show my support in and not just like the big companies um i was thinking i was gonna do like an amazon favorites every month and i've actually been ordering from amazon less and less it's just such a big company they already make so much money let me support the little guys i mean like i just i do have some stuff in my amazon car i'm not gonna pretend um i am um want to do i do want to buy a few gifts from there um it is really easy because it's a one-stop shop but for like most of my stuff honestly has been smaller stores or smaller businesses like i said all the time like i can't stay on walmart i'm getting anxious just walking in there um i've literally been going to dollar tree for a lot of things family dollar i just filmed the fight damn family dollar haul uh the smaller store the less anxious i get almost all my groceries are from the store i used to work at so i don't know where i'm going with this guys i'm just in a talky mood i guess will i edit this out will i leave it in see this is the part i like you guys might get bored with it that's probably why a lot of people don't watch my videos the whole way through but i like getting to know the person not just seeing the products i'm like oh is this someone i want to support is this someone i want to watch does this person have stuff i want is she saying stuff i want to hear so yeah like you guys like to see the products i got like this tart unboxing but you also get to know me what i'm about so i i usually keep it in my videos usually are longer um i have been trying to work on that but clearly with this video i haven't filmed in like a week i was going from filming like every day to filming like once a week so it's been an adjustment but uh that is it for this video like i said i want to lay down with my kitty cat so if you guys feel me if you enjoy my little rants if you want to lay down if you're jealous and you want to go lay down with your kitty cat comment comment below let me know we're kindred spirits okay that is it be safe